What's up, what's up? Ashmar Wedge. Yo, man, I came to do a quick video, guys. Um, I ain't do a video in a while. Haven't been on here in a while, so I decided to do it live. Well, face to face. But, yo, um, I, was, I wasn't really interested, but um, I, I, man, I decided to do some research on this guy, uh, Big Baby Miller. And, man, man, oh, man. Goodness, I got some stuff to share, boy. But, yo, um, you know, I'll just get straight to the point. Um, I got a whole bunch of stuff I got written down that I was um, thinking about this fight. So, um, I'm going to just go over what I got, just some notes. Um, nothing particular, but um, basically give you a summary of what I'm going to talk about. Is um, Believe it or not. I'm, and me included, I underestimated Big Baby Miller. Uh, he is the truth, guys. He is the truth. He, uh, I'll talk more about it, what he got, and he got a lot. Um, you know, um, basically, I think he's the, um, um, he's the, he's the, uh, uh, what's my man's name? Um, he's the real Let's Go Chant. <laughs> And he reminds me of um, 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 uh, my Let's Go Champ. He reminds me of my man. Um, and um, I'll, I'll get into that too, why. But basically, um, let's go ahead and get into this. Um, what I wrote down about Joshua versus Big Baby Miller. Uh, don't sleep on Joshua. You know what I mean? Because um, we think that he won't fight Wilder. Uh, even though um, I don't think he'll win against Wilder because styles make fights, um, you also have to realize that this is business. Boxing is big business. And um, Anthony may be playing the game uh, to build it up. Um, or he could be scared to lose. However, um, I want to see, just like when Floyd and Pac Pac-Man they build up that thing for years before they actually fought. And we was getting, we was thinking a lot of things. We was thinking people were scared. We was bad mouthing Floyd, bad mouthing Pac Man. But when they fought, um, it was perfectly played out in Floyd's favor, you know, politic wise and skill wise and condition wise. Um, whether Floyd is the truth or not, which I like Floyd, it was in his favor. That fight was played out perfectly for him throughout those few years that they argued and built it up. Well, I think, um, you know, Anthony Joshua team is thinking the same thing. Or he's just scared. I don't know. I don't know. Um, you know, eventually, um, heavyweight. And you, we know heavyweights fell off over the years, you know. And this, this could... Um, be a big, big, big payday if we get the right timing on this and we force them to fight. Especially if he beat this big baby Miller. If he beat big baby Miller, man, I'm, 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 my hats go off for real. Cause I, I, I really checked out big baby Miller, man. He's not, he's not um, what it seems to be. Um, I don't know his personal life or what caused him not to be already one of the best. Um, or if he's ever lost, I don't know. I don't know much about him. But I watched his um, his fights, um, his knockout compil compil uh, compilation or complica compilation. And uh, trust me, this guy ain't no joke. High tech um, uh, advancement by a big guy. Right. And big guys are trying to make a comeback. And this could be a comeback with Big Baby Miller, Wilder, um, and, and um, you know, um, the the f excitement we already seen with Ortiz, you know Joshua. This this is all this suspense. It's building up the heavyweight because um, that's what we we didn't have in a long time. Hit too hard, so uh, you know a lot of these heavyweights, you know, ran away from the boxing game, went to football and all kind of other stuff because people getting hit too hard. You know, they even chose to do MMA because boxing is um. It's dangerous for the heavyweights that don't have a complete package. They don't have defense. Uh, uh, 
Alright, so I'm going to give my view on um, Big Baby and what he needs to do to beat Wilder and um, what will happen if he does beat Wilder. I'm mean, not Wilder, uh, Joshua. Uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I saw... Alright, let's see what we got here. Now, I saw I saw a Muslim in Big Baby Corner too, man. But that's just like I saw Joshua praying in the match did. But come to find out, he don't have the character of a Muslim. So I don't think he's Muslim. But maybe he is trying to be. I don't know. But um, this guy, Big Baby, maybe he's trying to be. I don't know. Maybe he don't have a character neither. I don't know. But I'm only going by what I see. And I'm being completely honest. You know me. I ain't hiding nothing. I ain't got no reason to. Money don't buy me. And um, first, he is, um, as far as um, um, Joshua, uh, athletic puncher. Authentic. Okay, so I'm going to go over some points of um, um, Big Baby Miller when I was checking him out. Uh, he's an authentic puncher. He reminds me of one of my old trainers, Mark, back in um, Ohio, back in 98, 99. Shout out to Mark. Much love, man. Mark, I forgot your last name. This is one of the man, biggest heart heavyweights you ever meet. And he was training us. He used to train with uh, Vonzel Johnson. Vonzel Johnson, that's his name. Vonzel Mason. Vonzel... You know Von Zell, the one who fought, uh, or the, uh, the one who um, he got the gym up in in um, in, 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 uh, in in Ohio, Columbus, Ohio. Von Zell, good shout out to Von Zell too, man. But anyway, um, he trained my trainer. My trainer was a heavyweight named Mark, and this guy he hits hard, and it's not that. Um, it, he hits hard because of it's, it's three type of punches. You got a puncher who punch with weight. You know they just got mass, mass, and they land the punches going. It's just going boom. It's like a car crash, just from the weight, you know. And then you got a, a puncher who punch with snap. Um, you know they snap and they punch and shake your your, your nerves and your brain and, and and you blank out because your brain rattles. That kind of knockout. And then you have a knockout from technique, somebody hitting you in your pressure points and the places that it take to, to clip your, your, your brain off real quick. Um, um, they call that a flash knockout. So those three type of punches. Well, this guy, um, Big Baby Miller, he's a, 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 a compact puncher. He's a puncher with the mass puncher. He's a, a big puncher. He's a big guy. Um, and, and he can't hurt you, and he's and he's 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 a bodybuilder. He's like a he's like a um, um, like a bodyguard type of guy, you know, who boxes. And you know, a bodyguard who can box is dangerous. And um, on the other hand, Anthony Joshua, he he he's um, he's also a big mass type of guy, but he's but he's not. He doesn't have that dangerous. He doesn't have that mass punch. He's just really big, but he doesn't have that type of um, pow like ah that that incredible Hulk strength. He just um, Joshua is more like um, um, he's a big guy, but he's not offensively big. He's not a big. He don't assault you. He's not a big, dangerously offensive. Um, he's just really big. He's, he's so big that it protects him as he attacks you. That's, his defense is the fact that he's so large and so um, so large. That's it. You know, he's large and he and he, and he um, he's just large. That's 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 his ability. Uh, also, this guy, Big Baby Miller, I like his defense, you know? His defense, he brings his hands back, you know, when he wants to. 
And when he don't, he believe him down. But he got head movement. He has a rhythm. Uh, Anthony Joshua don't have a rhythm, and he never brings his hands up. Um, not to use them anyway. Um, so I got that in Joshua's. I got that in Big Baby's um, side. Uh, uh, Big Baby Miller, once again, he's a mass guy. He's a really big guy, even though he's short. He's not a short guy who you will overlook because just because he's big. He's not short and weak looking. He's short and really compact. He's a real deal short. He doesn't look short and fat. He's short and big, and, and he uses that strength that way. Um, it's almost like a short guy who looked tall because of how, 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 how strong he is. This is the greatest thing I like about him that'll put Anthony Joshua in a lot of trouble is he punches in bunches, and he loves the body. He goes up and down. Um, Joshua punches everything up top, and Joshua punches almost like a combination he just learned, and he'll throw that combination. Nothing more, nothing less. Um, this guy, Big Baby Miller, he punches in bunches. Them punches coming from everywhere, and they spontaneous. They, they explode. Whatever he see, he hit. Um, that's the difference in the trade I see right there. Um, I see Anthony and Joshua trading with Big Baby Miller and Big Baby Miller getting the last punch. Getting the first punch and the last punch. Uh, like I said before earlier, um, Big Baby Miller reminds me of Briggs. Shannon Briggs. Um, Shannon is a really good puncher. Shannon has a lot of character. Um, I love Shannon's character and the way he don't quit. He shows all of that in the fighting. But the thing is, um, this guy, Big Baby Miller, is a little bit more schooled, more um, authentic in his craft as far as like coming up. Like, a, like he's more authentic in boxing. He. Um, his style is more authentic. He has a, a more brutal style. Uh, Briggs is more, um, you know, uh, a street fighting style. He hits you with that one punch and he just don't quit. But his personality is just, you got to love him. Um, so Big Baby Miller um, is the next coming of Shannon Briggs. And it's, and it's, it's amazing. You know, I was learning all this stuff while I was checking him out and looking at his videos and Briggs end up was in his gym with him. I said, wow, I, I, I didn't even expect that. And then on top of that, um, um, you know, uh, uh, um, Briggs was in, Briggs was in his team. And, you know, I didn't even expect that, but I can see the connection. I can see the support. I can see the, um, the, uh, the the resemblance. Uh, basically, this guy, Big Baby Miller, don't sleep. He's the truth. Um, I don't see any major major uh, weaknesses in him. I don't see him as a chump. I don't see him as a walkover. I don't see him getting hit and beat up and knocked out. The very least I see in this fight is that Joshua is too big for him. And it'd just be a stalemate fight. It'd be a draw. That's the very least. Asmar West. Coming from Asmar West. This fight would either be a draw or Big Baby Miller um, is going to show out. Um, because he has authentic rhythm. He's a more skilled, um, he's a more, um, what you call it, experienced boxer in this competition. Um and I don't see Joshua knocking him out at all. I don't see Joshua knocking many people out on the top level of boxing because I don't, I don't see the rhythm in him. Boxing ain't just, you know, you hit me, I hit you. You got to have some rhythm and to, to hit the person. And um, when you get on a higher level, I think I'll see less and less knockouts with my man Joshua. Uh,
And it's so crazy because I really, 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 when I first saw this guy, Big Maybe, I laughed, man. And I see everybody else laughing at him. But I'm as my wedge here, just like I always do, bring the truth. And I'm against all of the other opposition. Big Baby Miller is the truth. Don't sleep. I tell him, I'm telling you now, don't sleep. Okay, and this is a shout out to Big Baby Miller. I'll tell you how to beat him. Um, these things you keep in mind when you're fighting Anthony Joshua. He's definitely big and dangerous. Just because he's big. But... He only punches you. He only He's only dangerous when you stop punching. Okay? Anthony Joshua feeds off of your uh, lack, lack, lacking. If you stop punching, that's like an okay button for him to continue to damage you. Uh, if you don't stop punching, his, his, his punches don't have a lot of meaning to them, so they get scribbled up. And it won't have a lot of effect if you stay busy um, he only comes forward he don't have a reverse gear button um, he only come forward with that style to get you to stop punching and he, and, he, and then he hurts you he comes forward when he sees you stop punching he hurts you uh, he'll trade with you a little bit, but if you give in, he's going to get you. Um, he headhunts 99.9% .9 of the time. His punches are coming to the head. He doesn't have an up, down, down, up effect, which you need. But that's coming from a non-rhythmatic type of boxer. Somebody who's, you know, standing straight up. You know, like a like like uh, overseas or European or like a, a Latin style or whatever. They they stand up and they stay on the line. They don't move off of the line. Um, Joshua straight head hunts, ninety nine point percent. And um, also, the last thing I'll say, man, well, no, it ain't. Anthony Joshua, um, I got a little suspicion about him because he tires too easy in fights. You know, he's supposed to be a boxer, a professional boxer. You know, you can't be getting tired in fights. There must be something wrong, you know. I don't know what. I'm not saying nobody is on drugs or nothing, but um, you shouldn't you shouldn't get tired like that. Um, and um, he's getting tired off of being one dimensional because he is one dimensional. He goes forward. He doesn't have a lot of defensive play. He doesn't have a lot of counter punching. He's just going forward, going forward and punching. If you stop punching. He's going to knock you out. Um, and then actually, you know, he's tired. You know, that's that's like a weightlifter getting on the weights and benching 500 pounds. And then he's done. He ain't got no more left. He burned himself out. Um, that's suspicious. Because an even balanced fighter should be able to make it to 12 rounds, 15 rounds. Your life depends on it, you know? And, uh, and to Big Baby Miller, you have to counter him. And make him work hard. Harder than his one dimension is. And that'll really you can knock him out like that. When or whoever knock Anthony Joshua out is going to be somebody who make him busy. And that's, um, that's why they probably didn't fight Deontay Wilder. Because all you got to do is make him busy. Somebody who can do the Muhammad Ali, Sugar Ray 
Leonard. You're um you're oh you're you're overwork, Anthony Josh. And make him one way you can make overwork him is make him get defensive. Make Anthony Joshua think about defense and you beat him. Peace, much love. Ask my wedge. I'm gonna post this and um if anybody benefit, much love. Let's save boxing, man. Especially the heavyweights. Let's bring heavyweight back. Authentic boxing. None of this rock'em sock'em crap. Peace.